In the still of the night, I held you, held you tight, for I love, love you so. Oh, shit. You record. My bad. <clears throat> Ooh. Y'all gotta excuse me, y'all. I, you know, sometimes I just be in my zone. But, uh, real quick, like, hope everybody had a good, uh, day last Thursday. You know, I don't acknowledge holidays and stuff like that. Pagan holidays. Holidays in general. Only holidays I celebrate are birthdays, Memorial Day, and Labor Day. Them the only ones of the national holidays. Of course, I celebrate uh, Juneteenth. But other than that, yeah, you ain't, you ain't gonna catch me in the the holiday spirit. But I hope everybody had a good day last Thursday. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Hope y'all have checked out some of the other videos. If you hadn't, make sure you click that good old button right there. Subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Share that bit. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Share that bit. And I was just playing. But uh, for real though, uh, I'm going to hop right into it, man. So there was a story that came out. Well, not just a story, but last week, former Ohio State quarterback, standout, you know what I'm saying, uh, now turned NFL wide receiver, free agent at the moment, Terrell Pryor, was stabbed in the fucking heart, bro. Like, they were saying the chest, but that man was stabbed in the heart, G. By his girlfriend, um, I don't know if they still together or not. I mean, I mean, crazy things have happened. Uh, Shalea Brinson, I don't, don't want to mess her name up. Let me make sure I get that right. I believe it's Shalea Brinson, but yeah, stabbed her in the heart allegedly over. Um, they were in an argument, right? She ended up going to the club with some of her friends. TP wasn't really feeling that. They, the friends, let the friends tell it, they came back from the club and he was waiting on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he was waiting on them and they got to fighting, with tussling, whatever. She picked up a knife and she stabbed him in the chest. Now he posted a video on his IG today, well a picture on his IG today and was just like, man, life crazy. You know what I'm saying? I coded twice before I came back alive, stared death in the face. Was still dead in the eye, same place my son was born. God is good, just got out of the ICU after four days. So, the police uh, said that it happened at his apartment at the Heinz Lofts in the um, suburbs, of course. But yeah, her name is Shalea Briston. Um, she's still in jail. She got a court appearance for tomorrow. And yeah, like, he got stabbed in the heart, bro. They got the arm. It was even reported that her friends was like, they should leave him to die. You know what I'm saying? Like in her, I mean, now I ain't gonna fly, you know, it was a lot of, you know, how, how those uh, mug shots go around. And, you know, she fine now. She fine now. <laughs> she fine. She fine. She fine with her mother. Fine with her mother. That don't mean shit. She stabbed, she stabbed that man in the heart. Like for real. Had to sip some yak for, for TP on that one, man. But she stabbed him in the heart, bro. Like, I don't know if she tried to stab him in the heart, because it was pretty accurate, but it's like, get up off me, foul. He stabbed that man. Like, I don't know how, what kind of, you know what I'm saying? When you say fight, a fight could be a lot of yelling, could be some tussling involved. If he put his hands on it, then that's self defense. That's how they're going to play it, that's how they're going to look at it, but. You know, she is charged with attempted homicide and aggravated assault. He got stabbed in the morning, 4.30 in the morning. Let me see. They were mutual combatants, in quote. That's, that, that, that's what the, the police said. So they were both involved in a little situation. But a witness, one of her friends, said that TP was the aggressor. He was waiting for her to get back from the from the club with her friends. Uh, said they, they, they fought. And then went into the kitchen where she took the knife, allegedly took a knife and stabbed Pryor. One witness over her, Briston was defending, over her saying, Briston was defending herself, we should have just left him to die. 
damn. Like, damn. Like, should have just left them to die? That's 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 pretty crucial right there. Like they arguing over her going to the club. You know what I'm saying? They arguing over her going to the club. Now, whatever happened after that, you know, they could he, he could have been in a phase like this. He could have cussed out a few cussed out a few times or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But he was hot. Oh, he was hot. He was pissed. And he got stabbed in the heart. Supposedly coded twice, which, I mean, they said he was in critical condition when the report first dropped. You know what I'm saying? said he was in critical condition. So I'm trying to figure out, was it really just because she went to the club with a girl and he didn't want to go, he didn't want her to go? Is she living with him, staying on his dime, and he she going out to spend his money and whoop the woo? Was he a jealous boyfriend? Could be so many different things, you know. Is he mad because he's still in the league? The season went by. He was hurt a few times. He's thirty now, you know. That once you hit thirty, and you're a pro football player, especially if he ain't playing quarterback or something, or no real like you, you playing receiver, and you ain't no star, or nothing like that. Was he just fucked up in the head? Did he push her, slap her around? And then she just said, fuck this nigga, I'm going to stab him. Inquiring minds want to know. But the police got her ass. She ain't going nowhere. She, she got denied bail. So, yeah. Today, what, Tuesday? Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday. It would have happened Friday morning. The day after Thanksgiving, he, he, TP damn sure had a Black Friday. Oh, his Friday was black as a motherfucker. Blacked out, black eye, too soon. Tim, what you think, man? Drop a comment, man. What you think? You think TP got what he deserved? Or you think she was a little overzealous by stabbing a nigga and then her, then her friend? What about the friend? Should have left his ass to die. Bitch! I'm just saying. Y'all be easy, man. It's the BTSE 365 Podcast. I'm out. Get you some merch. Nope.